created today to do an egg collection. So we were going to update you how many eggs they have collected for myself. So when you go to the theatre, obviously no makeup, no nail polish, no deodorant, no perfume. to eight and the appointment is not until quarter to nine so we will be arriving to the clinic at half past eight so a bit early 15 minutes early we've switched places because we got stuck at traffic and i was starting to get stressed we were just discussing how many eggs they can actually get from me today last time i think they've got about nine eggs and to be honest this time i'm not really expecting more than 10 i don't know i feel a bit i feel bloated but not as bloated as last time so i'm not really i'm not really hoping for a good number but if they can get over 10 eggs yeah that would be really, really nice. How many eggs do you think I will get? On the last scan, there were 23 developed follicles. And assuming that every follicle contains an egg, you would get 23. But I know that not all follicles do contain an egg. So probably it will be about 18, I think. 18 eggs? Could be. Oh, wow, amazing. Would you like that? Yeah. We're early earlier but because of that traffic and we just saw a car as well broken down in the roundabout and um, we are about two minutes late but I've already called the clinic to let them know so I hate being late especially in a theatre We're here So I'm here at the waiting room now I'm the only one here at the minute and we are about two minutes late. <laughs> okay, top tip. Don't sit on the chair. Glamorous. Glamorous. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they take my ring, take my ring. I've got these, I've got these. And I will be putting these. That's it. What do you think about the drugs? It's really, really good. I really think it's the most amazing drug there is, in all honesty. Okay, go. I am much more awake now, because I had a coffee. <laughs> no, I think the drugs is worn out. We have just seen our embryologist, and good news! We've got about 15 eggs collected today. Um, so tomorrow, they're going to call me um to give me an update how many were fertilized we're very positive about it because obviously the more eggs they get from you the more they can really fertilize them and the sperm quality is really good as well so i'm really really looking forward to this tomorrow and they are now looking into a five-day blastocyst culture and I think in this clinic that's what they were, they were doing now they're going to have to put back a five-day blastocyst um, to have more chances of having a positive pregnancy and if that is the case then my embryo transfer will be on Sunday so I'm really, really happy. My last cycle, we've only got like nine eggs collected from me. But this time, this is the biggest number I had, and that's 15. So I'm hoping that 
the quality of those eggs are really good for it to be fertilized. It's actually about ready to go now. We're just gonna go straight home and I feel fine as well today. I feel better compared to the last cycle. I mentioned it on my previous vlog on my last cycle. I was vomiting, I was in so much pain, but this time everything is perfect. We'll update you on the fertilizations uh, uh, we've got um, and that will be tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Just come out from the clinic. We're going home, guys. It was a really, really good. I'm very happy. We're going home now. Get some lunch on the way there eat it at home and then I'm gonna have a rest and watch Netflix <laughs> Netflix so this morning we find ourselves unexpectedly back at the clinic love has severe symptoms of pain so we're here to try to find out what's wrong Looking at the symptoms, it's possibly OHSS, which is ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. This is uh, not uncommon, but it, it's not really good either. But we'll find out more today. Hi guys, so we are back home now after the situation we had this morning um we went to the clinic to have a scan because uh today is my two day post egg collection and for some reason i was in excruciating pain in my lower abdomen sometimes stomach sometimes lower back pain um, I woke up at around quarter past six in the morning because I was in so much pain. I was sweating. My palms were sweating, my back sweating, and it's one degrees at the moment, so it's cold and I don't really have, there is no way that I could be sweating. I was sweating because of pain. I went downstairs and I was vomiting. So, we call the doctor because we have a um, 24 hour doctor that we can call on the phone um, and he suggested for me to take ibuprofen um, I already took like uh, two paracetamol prior to that and then we went straight to our clinic which is over an hour away so we went there they did a scan and then they saw that both of my ovaries were swollen. Um, my right ovary is more swollen than my left ovary. And I also told them that I have been using for the very first time my cyclogest. Now, this cyclogest, you are supposed to use them um, two days. Well, in my case, two days after egg collection. This will be one in the morning and one in the evening, which will be inserted in your vagina. And this will um, help for you not to have any period. And I was told to use this um, up until my pregnancy test. Um, I am just lucky that I can still breathe. Um, I can still... Um, do the things I want. It's just that I am in Cocodamol at the minute. So um, based on the symptoms, we thought that it was an OHSS, um, but it wasn't. It was just a swollen ovary. Um, quick update on my egg collection. So they have, they've taken about 15 eggs from me, which 13 were mature. And those 13 eggs were injected by sperm because we are doing ICSI. So they will automatically inject the sperm straight into the egg. And then um, embryologist called me yesterday to give me an update that seven were fertilized. 
So we're very, very happy with that. We've never had that high number before. And we were hoping that my body will be ready for embryo transfer, which will be on Sunday. So, yeah, um, we're just going to keep updating you and see what's happening. I will be filming on the day of the embryo transfer as well, because why not? Um, we are allowed to film there anyway, and it should be fine. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.